हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एडिटोरियल फ्रॉम इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड टूडे इट्स नॉट एडिटोरियल बट एक्सप्लेन पेज दैट वी विल लुक अपॉन एंड इट इज द टॉपिक इज साइंस टूडे सो लेट स्टार्ट एक्सप्लेन पेज द टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सप्लेन इज नैविक लॉन्च Why regional navigation system matters? So, the Indian Space Research Organisation will launch the first of the second generation, first of second generation satellites for its navigation constella- constellation on Monday morning. The double two three two, two thousand two hundred thirty two kg. Satellite, the heaviest in the constellation, will be launched by GSLV rocket that will lift off from Sri Hari Kota at 10:42 a.m. on the mission that will last for a little over 18 minutes. All seven satellites currently in the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System constellation, operationally named NAVIC, weighed much less, around 1,425 kg. At lift off, they all rode the lighter PSLV, ISRO's workhorse launch rocket. Workhorse launch rocket. The last IRNS satellite, IRNSS-11, was launched in April 2018 to replace an older, partially defunct satellite in the constellation. IRNS-11, one I, sorry, was ISRO's ninth satellite for the Navic constellation, but is considered to be the eighth because of. The IRNSS 1H launched eight months earlier in August 2017, and originally intended to replace the older satellite, was lost after the heat shield of the payload failed to open on time. What's new in the Navic satellite? As stated above, the second-generation satellite Christian NVS NVS 01, the first of ISRO's NVS series of payloads. Is heavier. What is new in this navic? It is heavier, and there are seven satellites currently in IRNSS constellation. Okay, and last IRNS one I was launched to replace older, which was defunct. And one I was ninth satellite for Navic constellation, but considered to be eight because IRNS one H launched eight months earlier, originally intended to replace older was lost. So earlier, which was lost, uh, a launch that is one H was lost. Okay, due to heat shield of the payload, which was failed to open on time. Okay. so what is new in this navic satellite it is heavier okay atomic clock the satellite will have a rubidium atomic clock on board okay a significant technology developed by india the space qualified rubidium atomic clock in indigenously developed by space application center ahmedabad this is rubidium atomic clock is an important technology which only a handful of countries possess isro said in a statement is a, it is an important technology only a handful of countries possess that the second is atomic clock l1 signals for better use in wearable devices the satellite will send a signal in a third frequency l1 besides the l5 and s frequency signals that existing satellite provide increasing interoperability with other satellite based navigation system the l1 frequency is among the most commonly used in gps and will increase the use of the regional navigation system in wearable devices and personal trackers that use low power single frequency chips so this new satellite will provide what l1 signals which is better for using small and wearable devices like okay 
एंड पर्सनल ट्रैकर्स दैट यूज इज वॉट लो पावर सिग्नल सिंगल फ्रिक्वेंसी चिप longer mission life the second generation satellites will also have a longer mission life of more than 12 years the existing satellites have a mission on life of 10 10 years so the life of the new mission is longer than the older that is 2 years more what is the significance of the clock several of the existing satellites stop providing location data after their onboard atomic clocks fail This was the main reason for the launch of the re- replacement satellite in 2018. Since a satellite-based positioning system determines the location of objects by accurately measuring the time it takes for a signal to travel to and back from it using the atomic clocks on board, failure of clocks means the satellite are no longer able to provide accurate location. Currently, only four IRNS satellites are able to provide location services. according to isro officials the other satellites can only be used for messaging services such as providing disaster warnings or potential fishing zone message for fishermen and what about the ages of the satellites this is the second major concern besides the failing atomic clocks irns 1a was launched in orbit on july 1 2013 and the 1b 1c were launched in the following year one a is almost defunct the failed one h mission of 18 was intended to replace this satellite and all the three oldest satellites in the constellation are close to the end of their 10 year mission lives so three oldest satellites are close to the end of three 10 year mission lives what practical purpose does it serve isro has been criticized by expert for not focusing on the development of the user segment it is criticized by expert for not focusing on the development of the user segment until very late in the life of some of the satellite in the constellation a 2018 report by the cag of india said that even though the cabinet cleared funding of 200 crore to develop user receivers in 2006 work on the project started only in march 2017 by which time seven launches had already taken place develop user receivers the receivers have now been developed and navic is in use for project like public vehicle safety power grid synchronization real time train information system and fisherman safety other upcoming initiatives such as common alert protocol based emergency warning time dissemination geodetic geodetic network unmanned aerial vehicles are in the process of what adopting navic system minister of state in the department of space Dr. Jitendra Singh told Parliament last year. So, unmanned aerial vehicles are in the process of adopting navic system. Some cell phone chipsets, such as the ones built by Qualcomm and MediaTek, integrated navic receivers in 2000. 19 the ministry of electronics and it is in talks with smartphone companies to urge them to make their handset navic compatible so some cell phone chipsets such as the ones built by qualcomm and mediatek integrated navic receivers in 2019 the ministry of electronics and it is in talks with smartphone companies to urge them to make their handset navic compatible so miti ministry of electronics and it is in talks with smartphone companies to urge them to make their handset that is navic compatible not only gps compatible what is the advantage india is the only country that has a regional satellite based navigation system there are four global satellite based navigation system the american gps 
रशियन ग्लोनास द यूरोपियन गैलीलियो एंड द चाइनीज बीडू ओके सो इंडिया हैज द रीजनल नेविगेशन रीजनल सैटेलाइट बेस्ड नेविगेशन सिस्टम वेर एज अदर फोर कंट्रीज हैव ग्लोबल सैटेलाइट बेस्ड नेविगेशन सिस्टम वंस फुल्ली ऑपरेशनल नाविक ओपन सिग्नल्स विल बी एक्यूरेट अप टू फाइव मीटर्स एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टेड सिग्नल्स विल बी इवन मोर एक्यूरेट जी पी एस सिग्नल्स बाय कॉन्ट्रास्ट आर एक्यूरेट अप टू ट्वेंटी मीटर्स वर्क इज अंडर वे टू सेट सेटअप अपग्राउंड स्टेशन इन जापान फ्रांस एंड रशिया इसरो ऑफिशियल्स सेड ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट टूडे दिस वॉज ऑन नाविक लॉन्च एंड हाउ द रीजनल नेविगेशन सिस्टम will benefit india okay its users developing positioning systems lo- tracking location train dissemination of information on alerts disaster alert providing knowledge to fishermen okay etc then atomic clock l1 signals for wearable devices okay so thank you guys this was for today bye bye signing off for the